Okay, so in this tutorial, I shall be showing you how to make a face in, you know, face gen and then export it to SVD so you can have it as a face more for the textures and everything. So these are some of the faces that I made earlier on. Yeah, let me just load up an image real quickly. Uh, which one? Yeah, this one. Let me just load up the Scarlett Johansson image. Click the facial points. To start off with the eyes, then go to the nose, then the lips, then of course, you know, the chin. Alright, I'm trying to be as precise as I possibly can. Of course, I'm ending with the cheekbones. Next, I click on create. Depending on how fast your PC cores are and how many cores you have, uh, this process will either take a long time or it will be really slow for the creating a face morph. Mine's almost done. Yeah, now it's done. As you can see, there's a high quality looking face right there. If I rotate it, you can see that it's 3D. So now I'm going to go file. Yeah, I'm going to look for. Yeah, right now I'm just going to name it. And I plan on exporting this for Genesis 8 female. Yeah, so now I've exported it and it showed me the directory of where my files are, which is good. Now I'm opening up the SVD. Let me just go on figures and get the Genesis 8 basic female. Yeah, this works with all the other Genesis characters, but you just have to export for the you export for the Genesis character that you want to use. So yeah, now I've got the Genesis 8 female character loaded into the scene by default. There are no clothes on and there's no material or anything like that. So of course I also have to adjust the camera. Let me just go to the material section. Yeah, I'm just gonna click on all maps RSL. Really, you can use either RSL or MDL or whatever. Okay, so now we can just navigate a bit. Okay, let me just add some clothes to this character really quickly. Yeah, so I think the basic wear O1 is going to do for now. I mean, after all, this is just a tutorial.
okay so let me scroll down and now if I click on this head section I can choose which character I want like which morph I want to use in the texture so it's showing where my texture image is yeah so public face gen another femme so I saved the characters another femme so I just have to click on this another femme slider and it changes let me just adjust the camera really quickly Okay, let me just move closer to the face so that you can see the changes that I'm making. So if I click on this drop down arrow then click head, I can alter this morph. So as you can see, the more I slide it back and forth, the more it changes from whatever it originally is to whatever the facial morph looks like. So now if I click on surfaces, generate, f generate female parameters, skin, then click down on surfaces, I get, you know, all the surfaces like the arms, cornea, ears, whatever. So now I'm just going to click on browse. After click on the diffuse color, okay, looks like <laughs> my PC crashed. I, I'm using a weak PC, that's why it's crashed just now. Okay, so I've got Death Studio opened up again. I recovered from that annoying crash. So now I'm just going to go on Surfaces. Then I'm going to click Browse. As you can see, this time it didn't crash. Um, it only crashes if you're using a really, really weak computer with an outdated processor, which that's what I'm using. So, yeah, text for me... Like, I've got a shortcut that allows me to go to the textures, face gen. So now I'm just going to copy that directory. I'm going to click on arms. I'm going to click the texture for the arms. Now I'm just going to click browse. Now that I've copied the directory, I can easily paste the directory over here. And I can get to that directory really quickly. And then I can click the face. Because the face alters how the ears and or rest of the face looks so I can just highlight there paste the directory there and yeah allows me to go straight to the face gen folder so if you're wondering what the directory is you get the directory like when you export from face gen but you know if you forgot what the directory was from face gen it's basically my desk 3d library textures face gen then genesis whichever genesis model if you chose genesis 8 female like me it would be in the face gen genesis 8 female now if you notice on the legs you'll notice that it just had a weird glitch that's because previously as i mentioned before my desk 3d crashed so you're gonna notice a weird glitch on the legs and the torso fortunately that will not show up in the Noranda and that glitch actually really happens but then again I, I did mention that if you are using a PC with an outdated processor you'll see the glitch just like right now can you see the part of the face texture is on the torso yeah that's that's not really supposed to happen but that the glitch does sometimes happen and it's it's kind of annoying but there's an easy way to solve that. It struggling. Okay, so now I'm just testing it out. I've, I've just pressed the render button. As you can see, as I mentioned before, those glitches with the texture, they do not show up in your final render. But yeah, so that's basically how you do it. You open up face gen, you face gen artist pro or face gen artist demo you click on the face points you click on create 
then you just open up the SVG and you click on parameters shaping head then slide around the morphs and then you add some textures to it